Hi YouTube, this is 50 Plus coming to you and I just want to talk about basically um, how to clean your makeup and how to keep your stuff safe, especially in the hot summer days because um, you know bacteria really just get out of hand, especially in the heat, so uh, more than in the cold. And um, especially us as older, we want to really protect and make sure our eyes are um, not getting any type of contamination. First and foremost, you should not share your mascara or your eyeliners. Okay, but if you have a girlfriend or somebody that comes over your house or your children want to get into your makeup just to be safe, you want to always have a bottle of alcohol. Now, well, have some alcohol. But to make it convenient, you can just go ahead and recycle a bottle a container that you have that has the spray on it and um, fill it up with alcohol. Now I usually keep this in my um, in, uh, um, the dresser with all the rest of my makeup. I keep that there. So not only do you um, kind of make sure that your brushes are cleaned on a regular basis, you want to make sure everything else. Um, so here are some ways to keep things sanitary. I have this little tin pan because usually the makeup artists they have like that um, I don't know that aluminum type um, sheet that they um, put makeup on because it's not porous. Well, um, this, if you go inside of Michaels or Walmart or any arts and crafts store, you can find this. And this is designed for paint. And I usually pour my foundation out in the middle. Sometimes I pour the powder in here. And um, this works just as good if you can't um, find that little um, sheet to put the foundation on for um, that's designed for the makeup. So, um, when it comes to um, mascara, you can't put alcohol on your mascara. Although, it would be a good idea to get a makeup wipe and, um, not a makeup wipe, but a, like a cotton round or a cotton ball and, um, and like seriously, spray the outside of your, your stuff every now and then and just kind of wipe off the germs and stuff. All right, but then as far as keeping it sanitized and keeping yourself safe from any type of eye infection or transferring any type of anything that bacteria, if your daughter or somebody else wants to use your um, mascara, it's best to go ahead and invest in these wands. You can get these at Sally's, um, at a lot of beauty supply stores, and they're very inexpensive. You get a bag of them, and that way when a person dip, they can only dip in it once and then that is disposable so that's how you would do help keep the uh, mascara sanitized now as far as the lipstick is concerned you want to sanitize the outside with the alcohol as well but then but then you can get get the lipstick and you can roll it up as far as it'll go some lipsticks on there and then you go ahead and take the alcohol and um, you spray it and you kind of just leave it sitting out until it completely dries and then you can roll it down and put it back away so you have your tweezers and these need sanitizing you have your eyebrow um, razor and it's always every time I use mine once I'm done I always clean it off and spray it down with alcohol but I really don't make the practice with my tweezers but like I said if you have people coming in your home like um, your kids and their older teenagers or your siblings it's best to try to keep these clean and when it comes to um, eyeshadow okay so this is a pan of eyeshadow that I made myself with um, with the uh, elf and basically what you would do is um, get the alcohol and you can literally go ahead and spray that all across all on, I'm spraying it exactly on top and then you let that dry and you could either maybe get a q-tip and clean around the sides or you could just um, let the whole thing air dry all right so that's how you would clean your powder eyeshadows just spray the whole surface with it. You don't have to scrape off the top edge or nothing like that. Just spray the whole surface. And then you might want to spray the um, outside of it also. And um, I mean, it's like spring cleaning your makeup. You know what I mean? Just to get all the little gook off of it, the fingerprints off of it, and stuff like that. So then, 
as far as the um, the um, lip liner and the eyebrow pencil okay so what you would do with the lip liner and the eyebrow pencil give me one minute so you would have the lip liner I'll just take this for instance and wait you first you you want to clean out your um clean out your pencil um you want to clean these out as well so usually they'll come with a little pick in the back for you to kind of get the um, parts of the um, now this happens to be one where both sides come out but you would want to like use this to get in between them small areas where sometimes um, the eyeliner will get stuck up in there and that's what that's for and then you want to spray this all down as well and then once you spray this down you want to take the eyeliner and you want to give it one clean go around. So you want to go around all the way once. And then um, you have that clean point there. Go ahead and just spray the handle and wipe it off. And then I usually sit that down and if it has a top to it or something like this, I kind of like to just spray inside of the top too. So alcohol is fairly inexpensive. Or you can either spray the pencil first, wipe the sides off of it, and then go ahead and put it inside and completely shave all the way around once and then you have that sit it down and go ahead and get the other cap and you might want to spray into that alcohol you want to make sure it's the highest proof a lot of times um, alcohol comes in um, different proof so basically you're going to have your alcohol Clean your, sharpen your um, eyeliner pencil, lip pencil, mascara. You want to clean the outside of the thing, but you want to also have the disposable wands to use with that. And you want to spray alcohol on all of this stuff. Your lids, your pencil sharpener, and this is easy to clean. And then, of course, you have the eyeshadow. I had it closed but you want to keep it open until it dries. So the lipstick and um, and the uh, eyeshadow powder you want to make sure that's closed. Alright I just wanted to share that tip with you. I didn't mean to be lengthy with this. I have a tendency to uh, film on the spur of the moment. It's not that the idea hadn't been already um, lingering in my head and I just need to sometimes have all my props together before I start talking. So I just want to say thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free to subscribe. And um, I'll link um, in this video a, a video with uh, my makeup collection. And if you like, I would also um, link in there my um, nail polish collection. All right. Thank you so much. And do your thing. And I love you for viewing. Take care. Mm -hmm.